Hello and welcome. In this video, we look at how you can make a good first impression on your reader. Often you expected to submit a written work as a part of your assignment. Most students do not take effort to improve the look and feel of their report. For example, take a look at this report. This report will look very plain when the reader opens it. Now, this report has the exact same set of words but uses some of the built in functionality of Microsoft Word. 2010 to improve the look and feel and readability of the document. The reader can easily navigate to the content he needs using the table of content. This document also uses Microsoft Word's built in functionality such as cover pages, heading styles, numbering, citations, which, which tells the reader where this particular statement or the fact in this statement is taken from, and then the reference section gives more detailed view or more detailed information about the uh, source of the fact in this report. First, we will look at how to insert a table of content into your document. To insert a table of content, first, it is important to tell Word where your headings and subheadings are located. To do this, first, you will have to apply heading styles to the headings at various levels. The introduction is the best chapter of this report so I can just highlight introduction and apply heading one style by doing this you're telling Microsoft Word that this is a level one heading similarly I can highlight adding a table of content and apply heading one again telling Microsoft Word that this is chapter uh, chapter heading now you may have uh, subheadings under the chapter headings so this for example, heading style is a subheading of adding a table of content. Therefore, it should be heading 2. Same applies to numbering chapters. It also comes, comes under adding a table of content. Therefore, it is again heading 2. Cover page is a new chapter. Therefore, it is heading 1. Referencing is again, I want it as uh, a separate chapter. Therefore, it is heading 1. And insert citation comes under referencing, so it is heading two. Same applies to inserting reference page heading two. Any heading which is a subheading of this level two heading will be a uh, level three heading. Therefore, if you have heading uh, a level three heading, you will apply heading three and so on. Once these heading styles are applied, Word knows where your headings are. Therefore, it can generate a table of content for you. To do this, place the cursor in the location where you want your table of content and then you can easily add a table of content. To do this, uh, I'm going to place my table of content just above introduction, right here. Now you can click on reference tab and select table of content. Now here you can see that there are different styles. I prefer automatic table 2. There you go. Once you click on that, you have your table of content, which is automatically generated for you by Microsoft Word. Now, the best part of this table of content is that Microsoft Word will, can update page number rather uh, when the location of these heading changes. Say, for example, introduction is in page one. Now, if I move it to page two by pressing Control Enter, I move it to page two. If you want to update this table of content, right click and select update field. I want to update only uh, the page numbers and click OK. Now you can see that it has updated the pages. In this video, we looked at how to insert a table of content. We will look at how to add numberings to chapter headings in the next video. Thanks for watching.